you are seeing my hand welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Leanna and I am not in frame because I'm not feeling well and I am in pajamas yes I am filming in pajamas but you are seeing right now the view of my new filming setup this is my vanity I purchased this off of Amazon and I have a new ring light also from Amazon this is from Neewer and this chair here is from Streptube so I thought that I would give you a little tour of everything. We can organize things. Well, I have already organized them now, but you will get to see how I organized everything. So if you want to see that, just stick around. So I thought I would start with the top of the vanity here. If you hear any noise, I'm sorry, but I cleared everything off the top except for what I need right now. So I'm going to be filming, still using this case in order to put my tripod on top and raise it up to the right level. I have my mirror over here, <laughs> my drink. I have uh, my little beauty blender sponge. Well, it's not a beauty blender. <laughs> it's from Real Techniques. And I just air it out here on my vanity on a little tissue. Over here on the other side, I have a nice little decorative candle holder over there. I may or may not keep that here. And then I have this display, which is actually just from Dollarama. So it has three different containers at the back here. Let me zoom in. So this has three different containers. This is the biggest one. And then these two are the same size. So I have my biggest brushes in here. I have my smallest like eye brushes in here and a couple of lip brushes and then I have eye pencils and lip pencils in here down at the front here I have a whole bunch of lip products as much as I could fit with the prettiest ones being at the front and some taller ones at the back I also have my liquid eyeshadows here so let's start with all of this stuff. I have a bunch of swatch stencils from Igneous Cosmetics here. These all came free with various orders and some of them have been used and some of them haven't. And uh, well, I thought that I would keep even the used ones and see if I can reuse them. And I'm just going to tuck them off to the side in this little bin here. And of course they're gonna fall over for now. So maybe I'll leave them for last. Uh, I have a bunch of different smaller eye products, including some small palettes. So I'm going to just start putting things in here. So I have the NYC palette. I have the Wet n Wild palette. The NYC palette is the only palette I have that isn't cruelty free. And I have these two igneous palettes. So this is the Cozy Cabin palette. I am, now that I'm in my new place, I'm going to start working on the review and tutorials for this. And this is my little custom one. It's the same size. Right now I just have a blush and a highlighter in here. This is just a little eyelash curler from e.l.f. Uh, this is eyelash adhesive. I don't wear false lashes and the one time I tried on camera it went miserably but I thought that I might be able to use this at some point for maybe like little decorations around my eyes or something. I have a couple of mascaras. So Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume and the Milk Kush Mascara. This is a backup of the Essence Make Me Brow. And this is the Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Elf Glitter Glue Primer. Little Elf Eyeshadow. This is a Pixi uh, Under Eye Primer. Or not eye primer. Uh, corrector. This is a small translucent powder that I'm pretty close to finishing. A couple of sharpeners, once for eyes, once for lips. These Watier Metamorphic Drops, and this small brush. I 
<laughs> so here's the first drawer and the drawers are already dirty. Don't ask me how, but I'm just going to put this in here. And now we have palettes. So I'm going to put the largest palettes on the bottom and kind of work my way up. So this is the Saint and Sinner palette from Cat Von Disease. Sephora, this is a an empty palette by Z Palette. Again, another brand <laughs> that I have something from but don't support. But I have a bunch of singles in here mostly indie at this point and a little bit of space left but not much juvia's place the deuce palette hard candy look pro rose gold palette tartlet in bloom palette another brand i don't support kat von d anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance and kat von d so once this drawer is finished this is what it looks like. Nice and organized. So I have a bunch of liquid face products and some powder face products. I also have a couple of organizers. This was just a lid that I had cut off of a Sonia Kashuk brush kit. And I've been using this for a while now in the makeup organizer box that I'm using to prop up my tripod. And this is something I was using for, I don't know, something else. <laughs> so I'm just going to organize things the way I had them before in the little lid here. So I have a couple of blushes. I have an e.l.f. Uh, cream blush and the rest of a Tarte blush. I have Wet n Wild. Precious Petals Highlighter, which I use as a blush or a blush topper because it's too dark. This is an e.l.f. blush. This is a color switch. This is an e.l.f. powder, HD powder. This is my Annabelle highlighter. And this is my Annabelle powder. So I just set them up like that. Now this tray is going to be used for my concealers and everything, so I have two Revolution concealers. I had the lightest shade C0.5 and C0, which is the white. I haven't opened the white yet. I have the two Kat Von D concealers, uh, which I'm planning to use up and then never repurchase. So I have the lightest shade, again, L1, and then the white shade which is why I haven't opened the white shade from Makeup Revolution. I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the lightest shade, which is Fair 02. This is an Essence Color Correcting Fluid in Pastel Pink. And this is the Annabelle Perfect Concealer in Fair, which is not fair at all. <laughs> I have a couple of primers here, the Photo Focus Face Primer from Wet n Wild and the Nude by Nature Perfecting Primer, and a liquid highlighter from Wet n Wild. So here is the next drawer. I'm going to start putting things in. And then I have a whole bunch of other things. So have the Ordinary Serum Foundation in 1.0N, which is too dark, uh, but it's a really nice formula so I can mix it. Um, this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in Pale, which is the lightest shade, and it is the right shade depth, but far too yellow. And I have a couple of these Bisu Tang BB Creams. Uh, again, really nice formula. It is far too pink. <laughs> so I like to mix it with one of these two here to get the right shade. So let's start putting these in. This is a Nude Sticks Concealer Stick in 
light one and the nude sticks uh, tinted blur stick in light one and last we just have a few lip products that I couldn't fit into my little um, compartment area at the front there and a little bit of skincare so I'm just going to put these down here and same with the skincare so got a nice big tub of first aid beauty cream from Black Friday last year an uh, ordinary hyaluronic acid derma e very clear spot blemish treatment and 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream and on top of all that I'll just put my foundation samples and there we go everything is nicely packed away and organized and the top is nice and empty. Yes, hi, I am in pajamas because I am not feeling well. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little vanity tour and organization. I post Mondays and Fridays here on this channel in the afternoons Eastern Time. Goodbye!